some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in Concord, New Hampshire, at a federal courthouse in which a couple of numbskull frauditors decide they want to F around and find out. I don't know what the desire is to get arrested all the time. Frauditors must have some weird, sick fantasy about it that fuels their persecution complex, or it may be some weird fantasy they have. Yeah, to be dominated or something like that. I don't know. But let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Do you want to sit, sit in front of the, um, the roll thing, poster over there? A uh, dude, if CFR 10274.420 is your permission slip as you think it is, well, it is not exactly what you think it is at this point. Uh, what it actually says is, except where security regulations, rules, or directives apply, or federal court order or rule prohibits it, pro persons entering or in or on federal property may take photographs of spaces occupied by a tenant agency for non-commercial purposes only with the permission of the occupying agency concerned. Spaces occupied by a tenant agency for commercial purposes only with the written permission of an authorized official of the occupying agency concerned and building entrances, lobbies, foyers, corridors, or auditoriums for news purposes. It doesn't grant you any permission to just walk in there with your camera and start filming everything, you dumbass. I mean, you guys like to point out the statutes and everything like that, but you seem to fail to comprehend what they actually say. Maybe you should take some reading comprehension classes at your local adult education center. That way, uh, you won't end up in jail all the damn time. I just kind of want to so let's uh, cut through. Yeah, yeah. I'm not even going to say anything. <laughs> there he is, plant. Face plant. You know, one has to wonder with these frauditors, what kind of uh, loser existence do you have to have to desire to go into uh, places like this and push the uh, boundaries to the point where you get yourself arrested. It can't be for the fictitious lawsuits, considering that, uh, well, the lawsuits really won't work in their favor most of the time. It must be for the money. I mean, even though they'll probably spend it all in one day when they get paid by YouTube on the 21st or 22nd. And it'll be all gone by the by the time the 25th rolls around and everything like that. And when this whole auditing thing starts to disappear and go the way of the dodo, uh, what are they going to do when they have no jobs prospects because, well, they uh, spent their life getting arrested all the damn time? I mean, come on now, dude. You're not thinking of your future. What? Yeah. No, I'm here to change the constitutionality. So I understand I'm going to be arrested. Whatever you guys want to do. I didn't want to. I see you again. Good to see you again. That was okay. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know. So you can't report me. I understand. I'm trying to grow the charge to challenge it later. So okay. whatever you want to charge us with is fine. Yeah. It's calling your I brought my defense. And I want to say that the scope of the rules is yeah. for civil cases. Oh, okay. If you look at the scope of the rules, it says civil only. Are you recording too? I'm not answering any questions. Dude, I don't know what you're trying to pull here, but, uh, well, your reading it, comprehension is way off, or you are a flat-out liar because it doesn't say uh, civil only. In fact, it says civil actions and does not give the word only, which basically leaves it 
open to other pieces of the puzzle, you moron. So it's an inclusionary statement for civil actions. You really need to work on your reading comprehension skills, dude, because they are quite pathetic. A better attorney than I do. <laughs> That's what I mean. It, you so arrest me, do whatever, and then I'll come back and when I have to represent myself, it's going to be the same thing in the lobby here. I'm getting in to film my criminal case okay. to challenge this. And what are you uh, arresting him under? Sorry? What, what will you be arresting him under? Don't you have to have an articulable, suspicionable crime? Thing What's the crime? Yes, I'm absolutely. arresting someone. Yep. And a warning. All right. What's going on? Yeah. You never got my ID that day, did you? I can't hear you. You never got my ID that day, did you? I just, I still don't understand why you're looking for the fight, but that's okay. What? Because this, this is our, this our is protected fight. right. That's what we do. This is America. This is a public forum for the citizens of New Hampshire. And you're trying to apply a law to criminal cases or a rule, a local rule, that applies only to civil matters. Wow, dude. Uh... Uh, when did you become such a law expert? Because did Chili teach you uh, the ropes? Because if he did, then I suggest you get your money back. Because, uh, well, he let you down. And going pro se in this case, as a result of his advice, is only get going to get you into tr deeper trouble. And not to mention the fact that you've got Mr. Press NH now standing right there beside you. Yeah, he's not going to help your case either. So you might want to check the scope of that rule. I'm putting you on notice right now. Okay. We've checked it. You've read the scope? Yep. I don't care what the rule itself says. And you have to file a motion with the court if you want to, you know, that would be the proper procedure. To there is, are we well, talked to, guys, yeah. Let's just, no we'll we'll talk about it. I'll tell the judge. This is the whole legal aspect. Here. Yeah, I mean, I'll talk to the judge. So what would you like? What would you like from us to do? Arrest me. Charge me with whatever your crime you're going to concoct. And uh, that's it. Okay. I need to have the standing. Okay. You, under, you understand that the posted rules state that you can't record in the lobby. Of the I understand that that posted rule is for civil cases. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, this guy is definitely a uh, certified graduate of Chile de Castro's uh, YouTube Law School. Uh, yeah, because he certainly lacks the uh, reading ability to... Uh, be a fine member of that uh, club because you know it takes a great deal of a uh, lack of reading comprehension to become such a poor expert in the law. But I'm telling you, it applies right now. You can't that's what you think. Right sure, that's I understand. If you let me finish, it applies right now, and you're given the opportunity to leave or stop recording. So, would you like to leave? instead of getting arrested. Right. Well, I gotta be lawful. I haven't heard a lawful order either. I've heard awful orders. Okay. Me too. Two of you. Well, now, is it any wonder why this idiot has a criminal case that he's having to uh, go to trial for? I mean... Look at the level of his intelligence. I mean, he can't seem to figure out uh, anything about the law, at least in a proper manner. And, uh, well, he's rather belligerent and probably is suffering from a borderline personality disorder or oppositional defiance disorder. Uh, but you know what? Either way, he's still an asshole. I'm just trying to the asses. I just want to Yeah, let's just do it. Let's get it over with. All right. You, you understand. Again, Whatever you want to do. The rules are posted. I allegedly violated. violated it. I'm asking you to stop recording. You're not stopping. He's asking, He's asking us. He's asking. Give me the opportunity. Sure. Okay. So you're going to stop recording? I'm saying on my constitutional rights to record in a public building. Okay. All right. All right. He's first. You don't want to be the one in court. 
But you know, everybody, this is a good lesson right here. Uh, you know how frauditors like to call uh, all cops tyrants and everything like that because they believe that they're more than willing to stomp on everybody else's rights than arrest them. Well, look at these cops. They're being as patient as they can be with these misfits, and yet they're not trying to uh, arrest them or anything like that. If anything, these uh, morons are trying to push the cops into arresting them. I mean, uh, if anything, this video is countering a lot of what the uh, frauditors say about cops, that they're nothing but a bunch of tyrants. I mean, come on now, dudes. You just failed in your capacity to present cops as tyrannical in this particular video, dude. Congratulations. You're a freaking moron. But you'll be there. He doesn't want to go to court. Sure. I have no problem with him. He doesn't have the balls. He's got to send his goons to the court. Cavity search. Yep. So I'm under arrest. I just want to turn it off. Okay. Well, I only turn it off complete. Let me see. So I might need so the battery. Doesn't. Yeah. Yeah. That's fine. You know, I bet your parents must be so proud of you for getting arrested for what? Absolutely nothing? Yeah, I'm sure your mama and daddy must be very proud of their bouncing baby moron. Oh, I don't know what you're doing. Giving you the same option, sir. You want to stop reporting and leave the building, or do you want to be arrested? It was Footloose, right? That was your name? Are you recording? You know, if you ever clean up your act or anything like that, and you're staring yourself in the mirror in the next 20 years, will you look at, back at this moment and uh, wonder, what the hell was wrong with me? Why was I acting like such a moron? And what I mean by that is when you end up in prison for the next decade or so because of some other major criminal act that you did, are you going to look back on your life and be like, Huh, maybe I should have made better choices. But then again, uh, that takes a certain built bit of self-reflection that frauditors just don't seem to possess. You got the phone? Yep. Okay. Yeah. All right, at, at this point, you're under arrest. Okay, turn around. says if you don't have attenuation, the whole place turns into an echo chamber. What? The battery. Okay. Yeah, don't shut that up. Don't touch my property. Don't touch my property. I'm already cuffed up. Stop resisting. I'm not resisting. I'm already cuffed. No, you're trying to take it off and you got me cuffed. It's not going to come off while I'm cuffed. Smart guy. And don't damage my property either. Well, gee, Mr. YouTube Constitutional Law Scholar, graduate of Chile de Castro's uh, School of Law for YouTube Morons, uh, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but uh, once you're arrested, your Fourth Amendment right kind of disappears for a while. I mean, that's just one of many things you fail to understand throughout this video that you claim that you know, but unfortunately, when everything's looked up, yeah, you kind of fall flat on your face as far as your argumentation goes on this video. So, yeah, real pathetic, dude. So, at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one. This could be some groundbreaking stuff right here. You don't want to go to jail.
For what? You read this. Yeah. I don't have to listen to read anything. Blah, 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 blah. I'm not listening. Gosh. I'm not. No, sexual oriented protection. Blah, 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 blah. Blah, 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 blah. You suck. They think they know it all. What's the Third Amendment, punk? Tell me the Third Amendment and I'll leave. What's the Third Amendment? What's the Third Amendment and I'll fing leave right now? What's the Third Amendment? Tell me. What's the Third Amendment? Most definitely. Because you don't understand why I'm here with a camera doesn't mean I have to get out of here. Doesn't mean I have to leave. Doesn't mean I have to go. <clears throat> that sort of thing. Well, this is what we're going to do. Um, we're going to have to enforce the, the CT and have you leave the property. Um, per the postmaster, per the lead, uh, per the, um, the, uh, the person, the landlord of this uh, facility. Uh, so with that said, um, I've got too many entities I know. You gave me a warning to get off the property. I got off the property. I need your name and date of birth. No, sir. You're either going to provide or you're going to jail. I'm going to remain silent, sir. Okay. You want my name and date of birth? What's your name? Right now. He chose poorly. Morning, Deputy Regan St. John's County Sheriff's Office. Two reasons I'm stopping you. One, Pine Island speed limit's 25. You're going 36. Okay. That's still 10 miles per hour over the posted speed limit. It's 25. No, it's not 25? So, I was going at 35. Also. So, that's 10 over. You just told me that you're going 10 over the posted speed limit. No, no, I didn't it, you Yes, you did. You said you're going 35, right? Yeah, but I said... That's a 25. No, ma'am. It's it. The whole thing's 25. Okay. The other issue is your license plate cover is illegal. You can't have a tinted license plate cover over your license plate. How are you? Okay, I'm doing good. Well, you're detained right now. You're not free to leave, okay? Sure. Why? I've been calling after you. You know you're not to be on campus. No. You put the phone down. She yes. asked me to leave and I left. No, ma'am. So you, you guys... You are now under arrest. You guys are arresting me for nothing. No. You know you've been arrested for this before. Dumbass! You dumbass! You're a dumbass. Such a dumbass. You're an ass. Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's- Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that? You know why you're kicking me out? Cause you don't want wa someone watching a movie in the courthouse. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, I know some of y'all are disappointed. I'm disappointed. Um, I hope that you will continue to watch this channel because this channel has brought more good than negativity.